in, a, in the live stream if it's open so that it doesn't interfere. Mm. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> Mario, could you start the recording, please? Okay, so um, we will start. Uh, 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 dear all, uh, my name is Sofia Wojcicka, and I have the honor to chair the welcome session of the TIS annual MSA conference. Um, as you may know, the conference was to take place in Warsaw, but due to COVID, we were forced to move it fully online, which is very regrettable because it would be great to, to having you all here and being able to, 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 to meeting you in, in person. Still, um, the conference was organized by members of the Polish MS or Polish MSA member by a Polish team. And we hope that thanks to the conference pack you received or which is an, available on our homepage, but also due to the sort of specific profile of, of the conference. There are quite so many sessions dedicated, not only to Poland, but more general to the whole region of Central Eastern Europe. Um, <clears throat> so we hope that thanks to this, you will get a sort of feeling for the specificity of, of, of this region uh, of the world, of Europe, and this will raise your interest. And maybe sometime when COVID is hopefully over, you will visit us in, in, in person. Uh, <clears throat> and now I would like to introduce our first uh, four speakers, which are all uh, strictly connected to MSA. Jeffrey, uh, Professor Jeffrey Olick, uh, he's a teaching professor at the University of Virginia. He is one of the co-founders and also co-president of the Memory Studies Association. Aline uh, Schier, uh, who is assistant professor at the Maastricht University, is also a co-founder and co-president of, of the MSA. Uh, 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 Hannah Teitler, uh, who is a research associate at the Goethe University in Frankfurt uh, Main, um, uh, and is a stand-in president of the MSA, and also, which is crucial for us, also its financial officer. And uh, Jenny Wüstenberg, uh, who is associate professor uh, at the Nottingham Trent University and co-founder and also co-president of the MSA. So please, uh, Jeff, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you so much and welcome everybody. We're all really, really excited to be here. Uh, we've got a lot of ground to cover. Um, this morning or this afternoon for you. It's very early in the morning over here. Um, but I have an impossible task, which is to somehow find a way to express thanks to the people who have made this possible. I, we're all here on the screen and we know there's a little bit been going on behind the scenes, but I think that unless you are uh, directly involved, um, uh, I think that uh, it's sort of impossible to imagine how much work actually went into this. Uh, Jenny, if you could share the screen with our slideshow, that would be great. So the first task, obviously, uh, the best place to start um, is, we're not at the beginning. Jenny? Uh, is with uh, to say thank you. Uh, and I want to uh, give you a sense of who was behind uh, all of the um, uh, uh, effort uh, that brought this incredible event uh, to, uh, to, to reality. And so I'd like to start um, at the top, if you will, with the local committee, the people who were really in charge, who handled all of the details, who provided us exceptional leadership, gave of their uh, time, uh, and, um, uh, uh, and energies. Uh, so if I could just introduce to you the people who were um, uh, running the enterprise. Jenny, if you could advance uh, the slide, please. Uh, first off is Magvajata Pakir. Um, I met Gosha probably 10 or 12 years ago now uh, when uh, she and Joanna invited me to Warsaw and we've been in touch ever since and it's a uh, a friendship and a uh, relationship that I value a great deal. 
Um, uh, and so it was an extra pleasure that Gosha uh, agreed to be uh, the chair of the local committee of this conference. Um, uh, Gosha is at the European Network Remembrance and Solidarity, represented things from their side, but also contributed incalculably to the MSA event you're participating in now. Jenny? Uh, Magdalena Zayashvoska, I didn't know much before this uh, event, but um, uh, I'm glad to have gotten to know. Uh, Magdalena is at the German Historical Institute in Warsaw uh, and has served as the co-chair of the local committee um, and day and night has been answering emails, managing complexities, um, and um, uh, giving her all for this association and this event. So we thank Magdalena. Uh, uh, very warmly for her incredible engagement. So as you know, Zosia was Chiga Chitska. I really apologize for my Polish uh, pronunciation, which probably wasn't even close, uh, but I'm still learning um, uh, from the German Historical Institute of Warsaw. Also, I didn't know before, but um, uh, have really enjoyed working closely with and uh, as Chief, I, I don't know why, chief software and much more. Let me emphasize the much, 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 much more. Um, and uh, Zosia, I would hire you as my lawyer in any, any minute of any day. Uh, and we're grateful um, for your contract negotiations um, uh, specification. And I, I don't know when you sleep. So thank you so much. And finally, um, uh, nobody is more important than anyone else, but if someone were to be more important than someone else, uh, it is my friend, uh, Joanna Vavriziniak, um, who uh, I, I checked on my inbox. I don't delete things, but um, the last time I looked was approximately 3,000 emails, uh, uh, literally, uh, from Joanna on various things, has been, as the slide says, the spiritus movens of the event, has taken lead responsibility for making this happen. And uh, again, I don't know, Joanna, when you sleep, uh, I'm, uh, I, I am uh, incalculably grateful for what you have done here. And so now I believe uh, I turn things, uh, we're we still going, I'm, I'm still on for the next three slides. Okay, behind the scenes of this wonderful leadership team uh, were, uh, I mean, you're gonna see, it's a very long list, so bear with us. This is an extremely important thing to do. I'd like to acknowledge Antoni uh, Zakchevsky, assistant to the chairs uh, in charge of media, uh, I didn't actually look how many emails there are from Antony, but uh, it's not 3,000, but close to it. Uh, Roja Kashanowska, uh, uh, communication software, MSA forward, and again, much, much more from the University of Warsaw uh, has been there day and night. Uh, Anna Machowska from the European Network Remembrance and Solidarity we website, media. I'm not myself on social media, but I understand that our social media presence uh, is pretty incredible. Okay. Uh, the chiefs, uh, are we switching to Jenny? I think we're switching to yeah, Jenny. Yeah, I think it's my turn oh. now. So Jenny uh, Wustenberg. Right, so it's my privilege to keep thanking. And uh, the first one I'm going to thank, the first set of people is uh, the chief organizers of the cultural program, Roma and Katarzyna. And uh, you might have already seen um, the first event which, which, with which we started today, the virtual guided tour of the Poland Museum this, uh, just before this event. It's gonna keep going throughout the week with virtual tours, a plenary discussion with Anne Applebaum and Agnieszka Holland on Thursday night and bring us all the way to Friday night. So this is an amazing cultural program. We're very, very grateful. Um, you know, Obviously we can't be in Warsaw, but we do get quite a flavor of it this way. Um, so check out the cultural program in your, um, in your online program or the conference pack. Um, and the cultural program uh, team was quite large actually. So I also wanna acknowledge uh, Ivona, Alexandra and Maria who helped um, with the whole programming. Um, I'm gonna move a little later now. So, uh, you know, we don't run out of time. Uh, we are very grateful. Thank you to Margarita for uh, taking care of the budget, which is, of course, a somewhat thankless task sometimes, but we are very, very grateful. It's absolutely essential. And uh, Margarita is also, of course, the co-chair of the Polish Memory Studies Group. 
Um, thank you to Agnieszka and Margarita for um, working on grant applications. This is, you know, uh, the mundane facts of organizing a big conference like this, but of course it's absolutely crucial to get funding for something like this. Thank you also to Susanna Bogomil who um, helped um, giving out conference fee waivers to uh, people who may not otherwise be able to afford uh, coming to the conference. That's something that's very important to us at the MSA. And she also communicated um, with publishers. And Camilla also uh, was in charge of dealing with publishers. Uh, it's another very important relationship for us. Uh, check out the virtual book table on our website. Thank you, um, Camilla, for doing that. And of course, to Susanna as well. So some of us organized pre-events, obviously I'm not gonna thank myself, but I do wanna give a shout out to Hannah Teichler and to one of my students, Liv Newland, who made uh, so many of the master classes uh, last week and this morning, possible master classes and workshops um, that are a, a big part of the MSA as well every year. A big thank you to Barbara, who um, also helped with the pre-events as well as setting up the conference software, which uh, that is not as easy as it might sound. Um, it was actually quite quite a big undertaking. So thank you for that. And uh, then thank you to Rosa and Hannah who organized the MSA Forward, which is an essential part um, now since our Copenhagen conference in 2017. Uh, they organized very expertly the, um, the mm, training workshop for PhD students. Um, and made it a big success last week. So thank you. Um, Mateusz was responsible for the media outreach and public relations in Poland. And even though I don't speak Polish, I do know Mateusz. So I'm uh, absolutely sure he did a phenomenal job. Um, then we are enormously grateful um, for some of the young people who intern with us. Um, this year we had a really fantastic group, Jenna, Wojciech and Wendy. Thank you so much for everything you've done. And uh, Tomasz Damaski was uh, in charge of design uh, and the conference's uh, visual identity. So thank you, Tomasz, for making everything look so beautiful. And of course, there was extra support for the local committee, Pavel, Adam, and Agata. Thank you to you. Uh, it was, I'm sure, hugely appreciated by the local committee. And now we come to the program committee uh, whose work began many months ago and which was together with the local committee, of course, uh, sort of the most important driving force shaping the intellectual direction of this conference. And we had two fearless leaders, Joanna and Erica, and both of them have done so much from you know, envisioning the conference theme that allowed us to bridge um, the gap left by the cancellation of the Charlottesville conference to discussing the minute details um, that go into planning a massive program like this. And I have to say, again, Joanna is unsurpassed as an organizer, keeping everything under control, communicating with everything, uh, with everyone and everything, and keeping very calm throughout. So um, I just have to second Jeff there. And thank you, of course, to all the other program committee members, Jocelyn Martin, who had many late nights in Manila talking to us, um, Alicia Salamone, who also handled the Spanish language panels. Thea Sintbeck Anderson, who was our point person for the working groups and regional groups in the program. And again, Sofia and Gosha, who uh, in addition to shaping the program, program in terms of the contents, uh, provided another link to the local committee. And thanks of course also to Sofia, who was the assist assistant to the program committee. Then I wanna thank the Conference Fee Waivers Committee. Um, again, this, is, uh, you know, this was absolutely important to us to allow people to attend the conference free of charge when they couldn't otherwise uh, have afforded to. Uh, and then, as you can see, there are many, many people who reviewed uh, proposals for the conference. Um, and you see a lot of names here that you've seen on other slides, but also lots of colleagues from across the world so this was really a transnational team effort. And then a giant thank you goes to Lorena and Angus, our MSA assistants, and without whom uh, us presidents would be in deep trouble every day. 
Uh, we're just in awe of your energy and commitment and so many great ideas and very good instincts. So thank you to both of you. And then last but not least, we want to thank, of course, the many partner organizations and the people within those organizations for supporting this conference and making it a big success, hopefully. Um, and as you can see, there, there are quite a lot here, quite a lot of organizations, but I just want to pick out and highlight especially our co-organizers, the European Network Remembrance and Solidarity, the University of Warsaw, the German Historical Institute Warsaw, and the Polish Memory Studies Group. And I just wanna say for all of us, um, we feel so privileged to work with you. It's been a great collaboration and I do hope it's not the last one. Um, and with that, I'm going to hand over to Aline um, and also just switch back my slides to remind you when the members meeting is. Yes, welcome. Um, my task is to welcome all participants. Um, it's great that uh, you're all following. Um, as we've heard before, COVID destroyed many things, among them our plans for the conference last year, which was supposed to be in Charlottesville in 2020. And then this year in Warsaw, um, I think we all wish we could be in Warsaw in a lecture theater and um, see everybody of you live. Uh, and said we have to deal with screens, unfortunately. Um, this was a challenge to organize, as you can imagine. Um, fortunately, many of the panels um, and things organized for Charlottesville were transferred to Warsaw, so this is great. Um, so was, Charlottesville was not lost in that sense. Um, and yeah, organizing a, an online conference was, uh, of course, the new challenge we had to face. And I'm incredibly grateful um, to the Warsaw team who jumped into the deep waters together with us um, organizing this. Um, so welcome. Uh, it's, it's great that so many of you signed up. Um, despite one year of Zoom fatigue, I think uh, after a year of teaching online, many of, of us are a little bit tired to follow things online. Um, nevertheless, we have more than a thousand participants um, from 68 different countries. So this is an amazing success. And um, one of the, the, the big difficulties was, of course, to uh, organize sessions in a way that everybody or most people can join. Uh, spanning so many different time zones is a bit of a challenge. So I'm sure some of you watching at the moment, um, it's already night, maybe, um, or it's really early in the morning. Um, so thanks for, for being here. Mm. Those of you who are not uh, active members of the MSA, um, you can join our members meeting. And this is, of course, um, for current members of the MSA, but also for people who want to know a little bit more about the MSA. Um, we have the meeting on Thursday at five, um, that's Central European time. Um, what you need to know is that uh, the Zoom link for this is a bit separate and you have to find it. So you have to click on the description of uh, the panel and then you will see the Zoom link. So uh, please don't miss that. Um, Angus and uh, Lorena are also going to sign, send around uh, reminders. So um, we, we really hope that we see uh, many of you there. Um, with this, I'm going to hand over to Hannah, who at the moment is replacing me while I'm on maternity leave and who has been uh, doing a great job as interim co-president. Thank you, uh, Aline, for uh, your kind words. And uh, it has been a pleasure. What can I say? Um, I only want to take up a few minutes of your time since we've spoken for quite a while um, already. And I would like to point out two um, kind of features perhaps uh, of and on the program. We are very happy to report that since uh, the MSA's inception in 2017, 18 working groups, six regional groups and two national networks have been formed. Um, and if you want to find more about these groups, um, please go visit our website, of course, and also join uh, the MSA Groups Roundtable session, which takes place on Tuesday, July 6th at 3 p.m. You can always find it in the program. Secondly, and for the second time, we are handing out two awards during this conference. Uh, the first one you might have already heard about is the Best First Book Award which was wonderfully chaired and organized by Steph Krebs. And uh, the winner will be presented during the closing plenary session. So please do attend. And we're also giving out the best paper award, which was, I think, uh, incepted uh, last time in Madrid or was given out for the first time in Madrid. And uh, in order for us to facilitate such a paper award for um, 
this conference, we would like to ask all the panel chairs to keep an eye out for excellent papers and report back to us. And as we are now gathering for the fifth annual conference here, I would like to highlight that there will be, of course, a future, there will be next conferences. And next year in 2022, we will meet either uh, in uh, a hybrid form or an online form, or hopefully uh, uh, in, in person in Seoul. So also do keep an eye out uh, for our webpage. And I'm also happy to announce the 2023 conference that is going to happen and take place in Newcastle, Great Britain. So again, please keep an eye out for our website and also check out the program. And on that note, I would like to hand over to Gosha. So um, maybe let me shortly introduce Gosha. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, Gosha uh, Takier, she is the head of the academic department of the European Network Remembrance and S uh, Solidarity and is chair, as you already heard, is chair of the local conference committee and uh, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you all very much. So, dear participants of the fifth annual conference of the Memory Studies Association, it is an honor for me to speak of the, on behalf of the whole local committee and the co-chair of uh, the co-chair Magdalena Sariusz Wolska, a group of 30 people and institutions they representing that for the last two years have been engaged in preparation of this event. The topic of this year's conference, Convergences, is in its all wide and global dimensions, has special resonance with the sensitivities of memory research that has vigorously developed in the recent two decades in Poland, contemplating both borders and connections between vernacular and official memories in the post-totalitarian, the post-revolutionary and post-genocidal contexts between diverse and multi-layered pasts and heritages, ethnic, religious, cultural, political, or between diverse forms and media of mnemonic articulations like theater, literature, film, arts, public space, architecture, or recently and importantly, landscape. Memory studies in Poland have in the last years been institutionalizing within centers and projects such as the Center for Research on Social Memory at the University of Warsaw, the Genealogies of Memory, organized by the European Network Remembrance and Solidarity, the Research Center for Memory Cultures at the Jagiellonian University, up to establishing the Polish Memory Studies Group in the recent years. There have been also many informal scholarly circles engaged in studies of memory like the Institute of Literary Research of the Polish Academy of Science or the Institute of Polish Culture at the University of Warsaw, as well as scholars at the Nikolaus Copernicus University in Torun, University of Opole, Collegium Civitas, and a few others. This is the intellectual and academic group that took on the task of organizing and hosting the fifth annual conference. While these preparations have had a great integrating influence on our community as well. We believe that this Polish as well as regional, Central and East European context, both with regards to research and references to history located here, is vital to the conference's theme, Convergences. And Joanna Wawrzyniak will soon tell you more about the program. And I want to only briefly mention those plenary sessions that will introduce us into the specific entanglements inspired by the region of Central and Eastern Europe. The ending plenary session today, Bridging Memory Studies Across Languages, that will reflect on the linguistic multiplicity of memory studies beyond the lingua franca. Next, the dual voiced by Marek Cichowski and Ivan Krastev in the session European Memory and Politics, A Crisis of What, on Wednesday, in which two Central and East Europeans will reflect on the current condition of Europe. And within the Associating Cultural Program on Thursday, the plenary talk between Anne Applebaum and Agnieszka Holland on the biographical experience of the Central and East European historical complexity. 
you will find much more on Central and Eastern Europe in the program. And I would also like to invite you to the genealogies of memory thematic stream rooted in the region uh, that is in this year is going to reflect on European remembrance and solidarity. As Zofia mentioned at the beginning in the cultural program on the website and in the conference pack, we've also tried to, to give you some feeling of visiting Poland and uh, Warsaw. You may find there, for example, virtual walks presenting Warsaw or a museum avenue in which prominent Polish museums are presenting their resources. And there is theater and film and even more for you to discover. We have done our best to make this event as intellectually stimulating and technically friendly as possible for you. And the supporting team will be with you during the full time. You can find details about how to get assistance in the conference pack and on the website. Here, I would like to say how greatly thankful we are to the conference platform, the Drifter team, dear Zeb and the colleagues, Many thanks for your professionalism, hard work, and incredible patience. And we have been utterly impressed by the devotion, skills, and the wisdom of the young colleagues working with us, Anya, Rura, Antoni, and Zosia. The online conference is a challenge for all of us, so let's be understanding to each other. We wish you great presentations and discussions and new significant connections. Welcome to the MSA conference in Warsaw. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Gosia. And now let me introduce uh, uh, Jana Wawrzyniak. She was already mentioned a few times. She's associate professor at the University of Warsaw at the Sociological Faculty and is the chair of the program committee um, of, of our uh, conference. Gosia, please. Thank you, Zosia. Hello, everyone. Uh, let me uh, join the thank you note. Over last year, I had an incredible experience to chair the most wonderful program committee one could ever imagine. International, interdisciplinary, wise, helpful, open to compromise, always ready to collaborate, even though everyone was so exhausted with pandemic life and endless Zoom meetings. Thank you, Erika, Alicia, Gosia, Jeff, Jocelyn, Jenny, Thea, and Zosia. What made our work exciting, however, was your overwhelming interest in this conference. This event gathered over 1,000 participants from uh, nearly 70 countries. Beyond the keynote by Olivet Hotel, we will listen to nearly 230 panels, several plenaries and subplenaries, turbo sessions, special sessions, book discussions, and numerous additional events which have been put on stage by many of you since the end of June, and some will continue after the conference is over. There is no way I could give you a detailed overview of the program in five minutes. Instead, I would like to comment on the three keywords which capture some of its spirit. These are convergences, conversation, and cooperation. Convergence is a lead team of our conference, and I believe it, we owe it to our friend, Erika Lehrer. First, it refers to the growing transnationalization of memory studies in last decades, with its key concepts of entanglements, connectivities, encounters, relational memories, and memory travels. Second, the team touches on the disciplinary convergences within our field of study, which became a meeting space for scholars from various branches of humanities and social sciences who also look for connections with cognitive and neuroscience. Third, and most importantly, convergences reflects the circumstances of organization of this conference. The Charlottesville conference needed to be canceled, unfortunately, but it did not mean that all its energy evaporated. Many of you resubmitted your papers to Warsaw Conference. Therefore, we are indeed converging key topics of Charlottesville, such as the memories of slavery and racism, with post-colonial approaches to East Central European histories. In addition, last year also profoundly changed our scholarly practice and urged to rethink the convergences between the digital and the analog, human and non-human in the memory studies. We are glad to see that you have widely experimented with the convergence team in your abstracts related to the various dimensions of theory and practice of memory studies. 
The second keyword is a conversation. In the conference format, we have privileged dialogues against the monologues, roundtables against paper presentations. In several plenaries, you will find discussions with scholars, artists, and public intellectuals, including Michael Rodberg and Emily Pine, Anne Applebaum and Agnieszka Holland, Ivan Krastev and Marek Cichotsky. We're all impatiently awaiting the outcome of uh, uh, the plenary deba debate organized today on how to bridge memory studies across different languages, organized by our colleagues Misha Gabovic and Lorena Lovrencic, and the MSA Working Group conversation led by Karolina Aguilera and uh, Jelena Durejnovic. We have also asked you to shorten the time of your regular presentation to 10 minutes to allow more time for discussion between panels, participants, and the audience. We hope this format might help us not only struggle against the Zoom fatigue and engage in meaningful interaction, but also think on how to develop memory studies together. Finally, cooperation. As you have already heard from the co-presidents and Gosia Pakir, there have been many people involved in organizing this conference. The collaboration between so many institutional stakeholders, presenters, reviewers, speakers, and those of you who volunteered to act as chairs or technical moderators has been smooth and result in enhanced joint expertise. All your involvement shows that it takes a village to organize an MSA conference, a global village. One of our colleagues has counted. The total time of our conference amounts to nearly 450 hours, which equals 56 working days. The conference recordings will be available on the conference platform for one year after the conference is over, so we invite you to watch what you have missed. All the registered participants can read our detailed program both on the conference platform and in the conference pack, which also includes conference welcome and other useful information. Thank you for your kind attention. Uh, and now I have the honor to introduce <clears throat> Rafał Rogulski, who is the director of the European Network Remembrance and Solidarity, uh, which is was one or is still one of the co local co-organizers or main local co-organizers of, of the CS conference. Uh, Mr. Rogulski, please, uh, the floor is yours. You have to unmute yourself. Yes, yes, I did it. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, dear conference participants, the European Network Remembrance and Solidarity grew out of a conflict. It was a conflict around the remembrance of World War II and its consequences. At the turn of the 20th century, over 50 years after the end of the war, and despite the fall of communism and depending transnational middle European cooperation, it turned out that the European societies still knew very little about each other. Above all, it became clear that we remembered differently and that we wanted to keep it this way. There is nothing wrong to remembering differently. It is sometimes necessary to keep our identity and protect our heritage. But at the same time, we need to know more about our sensitivities in order to live together and cooperate in the era of globalization. Behind the founding of ENRS was the idea of supporting the dialogue about the history, especially the one of the 20th century and the remembering processes it involved. The aim has been to help commemorative and research institutions from around Europe and sometimes outside of it to find their counterparts over national borders and in this way to enable and to animate the debate about European remembrance. We started our work as an international entity in the year 2005 and have since then run over 200 international projects in the fields of academic research, education, exhibiting and networking. What we began with was the Genealogies of Memory annual conference project 
whose 11th edition is a part of this year MSA Congress. All of our projects are aimed at building a space for people thinking differently, to exchange their opinions and not to let them stay in comfortable bubbles of the like-minded. And in this spirit, I want to wish all of you an open-minded, well-meant and fruitful exchange of ideas during the MSA fifth annual conference, including the Journalists of Memory stream. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Rafa Rogutski. And now I would like to ask uh, Professor Lalak um, to, 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 to join. Uh, Professor, um, Professor Zygmunt uh, uh, Lalak is um, uh, <clears throat> vice, vice, vice rector of the uh, um, for research at the Warsaw at the University of Warsaw um, uh, and the university and the sociological faculty were one of the main co-organizers of the um, of this year's conference and please uh, uh, Professor Lalak if you could share. Uh, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind invitation. Um, good morning, actually, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, dear participants. Uh, it is my great privilege and actually pleasure to represent today the University of Warsaw at this Memory Studies Association Fifth Annual Conference. The University uh, of Warsaw is not only the largest university in Poland, but also a leading research center in the country. The strategic objective of our university is to ensure a good position among top uni European research universities and wide international recognition. It involves continuous development and collaboration with leading world centers. The university works with as many as 800 international partners and belongs to more than 100 of global research networks and various consortia set up to conduct particular research projects. However, I have to say that among those projects, the MSA annual conference series holds a very special place. The conference was supposed to be held at the main campus of the University of Warsaw, a historic location out of which the university grew out and which carries over the decades memories of many breakthrough events and many personalities, distinguished scientists and leaders who have shaped the university and the whole country. We truly regret that due to the outbreak of the pandemic, we are unable to host the meeting physically on site and to meet the lecturers and participants in person. But at the same time, we are very happy that the online version has been realized and that has attracted so many participants and uh, viewers. We are grateful to the Memory Studies Association for its confidence in our organizational capacities and for entrusting Polish teams, the conference organization and training. In fact, a large number of researchers and PhD students from various departments of the University of Warsaw will actively participate in the event. We are also thankful to all the co-organizers, the European Network Remembrance and Solidarity and the German Historical Institute in Warsaw, and to the local partners for excellent, flawless and extremely efficient collaboration during the preparation of the meeting. This meeting constitutes an important opportunity for, for a successful and growing university research team to participate in the project, which makes us a part of the hot international debate on memory, convergences and conversations. I am certain that you will enjoy the five long days of engaging debates and networking. I wish you a very fruitful and pleasant meeting. Thank you for your attention. Thanks a lot. 
thank you, uh, thank you very, uh, very much, Professor Lalak. And now uh, uh, I have the honor to introduce uh, uh, Professor Milos uh, Jesnik, who is director of the German uh, Historical Institute, Warsaw, uh, one of the four main organizations co-organizing um, the conference from the Polish side. Uh, Professor uh, Reznik, please uh, take your word. So welcome everybody, the colleagues, the participants of the, of the conference. It's my pleasant task to welcome you on behalf of the German Historical Institute in Warsaw as a co-organizer of this magnificent, mag magnificent meeting, the fifth MS, MSA annual conference. Our institute is one of the similar, of, of 10 similar German institute, in, institutes abroad. It has existed since 1993, maybe was established then, even in the context of the, of the, um, of, of the, of the German-Polish memorial discourse of the period, but then since then conducts um, original research on historical topics related to the, the Polish, Polish, German, European and trans-regional history in the, in the whole chronological scope from the Middle Ages till the contemporary uh, period. A few years ago, in addition to, the, to our Warsaw headquarters, we managed to create permanent branch offices in Prague and Vilnius. The study of memory belongs to the main fields of our interest, especially in the broader context of the functionality of history in the postmodern age. So we do offer a, a, maybe a, a historiographical expertise for, for research in contemporary uh, social and cultural processes. It is, uh, it is for this wide and complex that uh, wide complex that we have established an independent research group since 2014. It deals with uh, various social and individual levels of using of history, not only in connection with politics of memory and identity building, but also with regard to the aesthetic aesthetic functions of history and a new understanding of such categories as past in, in, in itself, authenticity or historical uh, justice. We pay special attention to the musealization of history and I'd like to invite you indeed to our discussion on the question of, of to how do museums be, belong actually uh, taking part on uh, Thursday. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to express my gratefulness to my colleagues, Sofia. Wuchitska uh, and Magdalena Sarius of this meeting uh, from the part of our institute. Of course, to all the partners of the Congress, of the particip uh, to the participants, and I wish many inspiring uh, challenging and maybe thrilling discussions in the following days. Thank you for your attention. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, and now, last but not least, uh, my colleague, uh, Małgorzata Okiano, uh, who is researcher at the Institute for Philosophy and Sociology at the Polish Academy of Sciences and is co-chair of the Polish Memory, Study, uh, Memory Studies Group. Uh, and was also uh, very much involved in organizing um, the conference, taking care of its finances. Malgosha, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you very much. So um, since I'm the last speaker, I promise, <laughs> I promise to make it quick. So it is my great honor and pleasure to uh, be the part of this opening today on the behalf of the Polish Memory Studies Group. So our group, a regional group of, of MSA, it aims to bring together scholars and practitioners from all over the world who work on Polish memory um, and all of its diverse ethnic and religious communities. So an idea which embraces different convergences like the title of the conference. In our aims, we put connections and networking first and so, I hope it uh, so I hope would be the result of this conference. So I sincerely wish the, um, um, everyone many fruitful discussions, connections and inspirations. Um, 
And moreover, I would like to thank once again the local committee for all their efforts. So the Dream Team and also the Polish Memory Studies Group members. When we two years when two years ago we started planning this conference and began our organizational meeting, so probably nobody expected how much will change and and yet here we are opening the conference with over 1000 participants and very rich and diverse program well thank you all once again and it is a sheer pleasure to be a part of the third annual memory studies association conference i hope you'll have a wonderful time and um, a lot of wonderful experiences mm. so uh Maybe at the end, I would like to um, remind you that uh, the conference, while it was in preparation and now when it is held, it fell into a very special time of the COVID uh, pandemics. And a few presentations and also one of the sessions were to be cancelled because, uh, because of the pandemics. And uh, we thought before we sort of move on to the conference, we should maybe observe a few seconds or a minute of, of silence in memory of those colleagues. Uh, and also they are families who, uh, who passed away uh, due to COVID uh, pandemics. So um, maybe we could um, commemorate them or remember them in, uh, for a few minutes in silence. Well, um, um, so um, we are at the end of the welcoming session. We all wish you um, good luck with your presentations and uh, very interesting and inspiring debates and interesting meetings, even if though not in person, but still. You have, please uh, take advantage of all the communication tools uh, on the conference platform to engage with people and meet them and, uh, and discuss with them. And uh, we would like to invite you um, to the first uh, round of uh, semi-plenary sessions that will start in uh, exactly 30 minutes. Uh, is there something to add from your side or will we finish now? Okay, so thank you very much.